Reports alone being put reports together this being them on stability challenge in post election saloon and uh, what's in other, what are other members there so and the focus of this report make a one for welcome again Andrew Lavalli inside the program as a member of this coalition it represents uh, the IGR inside the program. Good morning and welcome to the program. Good morning, well, Salon. Good morning, people on Radio Land. Good morning, listeners. Yes. As, as I give the background to listeners, them on the civil societies, them we come together and put this report we a stabi stability challenge in post election Salon. Let's look at this report and first start with the reason behind putting this report together it's actually a release it's just a press release so we just come together we discuss what are the challenges and then we see because everybody been get uh, you know an opportunity for discuss those challenges and um see what not the way forward you know salon the world be done you know pride we for progress in democracy so you know just before this election in fact, two days before the election, Afobarometer put a report say, while the whole world on the reverse in the last 10 years, Sierra Leone actually they go before. But after the election, we get a lot of, you know, uh, them tension. And if, even before the election, we now see some reports with IGR with the poll, we talk about polarization. So like the division done the really, really sharpen, it done the deep in. So and after that, because you get a lot of civil society there with them, watch the reports, observer in their own ways. We still all sit down together and discuss which are the challenges that we don't identify and how we go talk to authorities, appeal to authorities and our government, our position, and even the international community for them then address those challenges then. So if you give me an opportunity, I will just go through the challenges then quickly. Go ahead. Okay. So the first one really where we identify na the misuse of social media. Of course this would only talk about Kubo Kutem but this is not the first election this way social media actually became a threat. I mean, who would they get messages from abroad? They talk the attack. Like me, so I don't get um, a lot of people and they even banded me face on social media. I say, go kill him, go hurt him. In fact, so we already say back, um, the head of new, uh, Marcela Sambas, is saying, say, a fly out, we see the US embassy talk about death threats. So then they are all like concern. Um, so uh, we look like Ibrahim told me, Ibrahim told me, people are no more they defend democracy. And democracy actually means plurality of voices. Everybody gets right for their own opinion. But for like they take people and family, you target them. You talk to them and go harm them. Across the divide, across civil society, I think Zidane, it's really bad. So we feel, say, uh, uh, government and international partners, then for taken seriously, we will try for solve them. The, the other one we will identify we realize say, the struggle for resources because some people they talk say now, if APC win, how many good day? If SLPP win uh, for the next five years, me if they back now position for the next five years, me me condition go bad. So all of this na in with the put on election. So it's the one the way they manage their election, the security forces, the electoral commission, they're not really in a comfortable place because all of them problem there with the HIPAA on elections. So one of the things that we really, civil society, they strongly recommend, how we forget a diverse government where everybody go get a stake in society, where everybody go feel, say, I am in this country and I'm actually part of this country. So then the, th the second one. The third one, the survey will do, where they should say, um, the election, President Beauty win the election by 56%, but that's a survey. It's, it's a forecast. That forecast can come true or you know, it can't true. But we see, say, back, Four days before the election, another group, we in uh, Basita Michael, people are really, really critical of the government, then say pull a survey, an opinion poll, where they should say, President Bio, they lead uh, Dr. Samora Kamara by 13 percentage points. In fact, they don't caveat no more. They say they don't know if election they go run off into runoff by the data. New on election day, on polling day, then say pull the PVT. The PVT report they should say, um, Bio was more popular than Samora Kamara. The only problem we knew get is say this election could go to the second round. Then neck pull a final result where they should see President Bio got get uh, fifty six percent. Why am I getting uh, saying all of this? I they say this because across all the data we will see, whether the data they for, whether the data they against, there was one thing that is common that President Bio gets popular votes. 
Uh, so for let you get one group where they talk, they talk, say, no, me not they accept that result. Day. Where all of the indicators, all of the data points they show otherwise, I think, say, it amount to election denial. Let, let me finish. The other point now, the, the, the openness of the Electoral Commission. And we see down the inside Boku electoral election observer reports. Um, the election observers then, some then talk, say, let NEC, uh, the ECSL rather, let it, it, let it release the data at the polling station level. And as a matter of fact, we associate ourselves with that comment day for, say, the electoral commission, because then are people that vote down the, they get for release all at, at the polling station level. The intolerance among party supporters, that another one we key because we don't see say so after this election, some money they go really go attack then company them. So I they give I they give uh, some people and they give them tenants then notice say I they pull this. So all of this they should say, if we not handle post conflict tension, it go bring instability. Now no, they can we they can look at the the, the issues the moon I don't highlight as problems na the electioneering process. But somebody they listen to you now, you don't name um, civil societies where you get drivers views them. For these 80 civil societies, we come together and put this uh, press release in form of a observation in post-election fragility. Somebody they listen to one for no. Wouldn't have some of them civil societies there so we come together and form this coalition and put out the, this the, release? The list, the list is very long. Some. The, the, list, the, the list is or very long. Unnotably. Yes, the, the list is very long. So, in fact, so you, you will get... you. In fact, who they, just in the interest, there was a lot of disagreement. At the end of the day, the, the report was actually read by a, by a, a SMC member, a senior member of the team, uh, you know, management team member for the National Elections Watch, and I actually read the, 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 the paper. There were about 10 civil society with them talk, say, no, we disagree. But as a matter of fact, we didn't have then, you know, then kind of conversation. And then you get people who they agree, people who they disagree. So th there was disagreement as to whether we could even put new. Then talk say no, not for put new. Now we say, well, how will you be discussing uh, critical election issues, like for example, police? We talk say the police, policing is a challenge. Mm? So if IGR is a problem, we get for state IGR say IGR is a challenge uh, for the election. So you, because of that, you get about ten of them. We then talk say no, we know the. Uh, we, we cannot even sign to this. Of course, it was not a signature. It was more consensus around waiting at the thing there. Of everybody, any, you know, the, there's now a difficulty for Lewis and Sierra Leoneans they agree on how they move forward. The reality is, if the Electoral Commissioner gets, Electoral Commission gets an issue, if national elections work on the part of civil society gets an issue, if the way the international community they relate with we is an issue, if government not open and not inclusive is an issue. We therefore discuss all as Sierra Leoneans and get a way forward. So in so, all of this, in terms of the over 80 civil society, one thing we people go and know about, the neutrality and interest of the civil society, because it's clear for, say, concern only come out from the public, say most civil society don't align with political party, whatever it is, they take the center stage now for their own self or because of the party within the... Th thank what you go say in that context? Thank you very much. The thing we call neutrality, in fact, the that plurality of civil society is a beauty. Um, it's up to you. We, we civil society, they market women, then they get them belief. You get civil society where they even politically aligned, then get them belief. Mm? We that diversity, they that rich diversity, they now the true meaning of civil society. Some people like you feel say, no, civil society all for go one way, huh? Civil, no civil society, no, really good. In fact, if you bring today two civil society. Let them can't debate one issue, you just then get divergence views. That is the true meaning of civil society. But we come to the core values of our institution, like for example, defending the rule of law, like for example, protecting justice, um, like for example, being, being fair, being honest to the truth and holding truth to power. Uh, so I think so that, that value, they will not for compromise them. So, it, it was in line with them, the way the eight points then come, and you, we watched the point themselves. So the, the, the first person we talk, it actually come up from Bombali. We talk, say, it's say me, the first concern we'll get, now the, 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 the way we resources are distributed. And we see somebody come up from Bombali, somebody come up from the northern region. Resource distribution will be key to them. 
under a regime where they feel say it predominantly southeastern. So, yes, we come to neutrality in that. And of course, there is there is always this difference between what you would call neutrality and what you would call um, uh, politics. Civil society is not expected to be neutral. We have to take sides with democracies under attack. If it is under attack by the police, if it is under attack by government, if it is under attack by an observer group, you should not be neutral. You get for take a position. So, so in terms of taking a position, is it that the position for the in the interest of the public or that of a particular um, government within, I mean, in ruling at that time? No, this is not in the interest of anybody. This is in the interest of Sierra Leone. You know why? And I start with the premise: say, Sierra Leone don't they build democracy. The democracy would on the bill. If at all, country like Guinea, the slide. If at all you go Ivory Coast, people in the slide. The, but if we come to Sierra Leone, democracy, they actually take hold. If we get an election, people then cast doubt on that democracy. They, we need for go to the bottom of them um, and investigate. Sapti, you don't know. We now already listen to me. If at all you get a democ a, a, an election where people then feel say a, a problematic, that country then democratic aspirations will be challenged, and it gets implications for investment. So that accusation they get for be true and honest. Job because you are a staff of 98.1. When you're discussing challenges in the media landscape, if 98.1 is a problem, you get for discuss them. So that's the thing. So if IGR law talks to IGR on professionalism become a problem for democracy, you have to discuss it. So now that make just like how they discuss, you know, so, some of the key inclusive process we we all been there. So you go see say. There are practices in other countries who say the, the PVT process is actually advertised. You see them online. You see them, um, uh, the, the, the sampling, for example, is being shared. So you actually see them. So you, you see, see all of that. So you, you, that, that inclusivity was... Was, was, was a lesson for 20, 2018. The program where they talk to civil society representative and one expert with the eight key drivers of fragility in Sierra Leone report where some say so they pull not do this being. I, I don't did enough for about 10 years. Um, I get experience with data. I do research in data. I don't publish so many papers using data. And I don't read a lot about the PVT systems as well. So I get knowledge on the PVT uh, the, uh, exercise will happen naturally. For somebody to listen to you now, we don't get from Andrew Lavalli, we don't highlight um, eight key points them on the election uh, fragility or uh, stability challenge in post election um, Sierra Leone. And you are nah, an expert here. Yeah? You don't talk about your knowledge and know how on this. Let we look at the issues here. So, how Salon reach at this level of then its challenges there. So we and Lavali highlight earlier we some of the uh, denial of election results and also diverse views from civil societies on the electionary process and also um, they get for do with social media threats. Yeah. So are they are they focus more on the point number three where. Uh, Andrew Biggie earlier, winner the and the PVT systems result, and probably I will delve a little more into other areas later. But I did more at the focus. Okay, I'm a, after reading widely about PVT systems, like how they do implement around the world, um, there are three things we supposed to happen in any PVT system. Okay, um, so many things I, I, I summarize them into three. One, they forget high uncompromising standards. Very, very high standards. PVC systems not supposed to be um, opinion. Not an opinion poll like how Andrew B. talk earlier said and conduct opinion polls and people say, no, President Biogo will. PVC systems now fact. The standards will be high. Now, the actual election data then they are supposed to collect. That's not one. Two, uh, PVT systems are not supposed to be partisan. It will be neutral. It will be very, very independent. The person where they conduct the PVC system for be independent as possible. The one that where they go collect the data at the polling station supposed to be independent and not partisan as, at all. The results for be reliable to a point that nobody knows for question. It for be as inclusive as possible. All the stakeholders for be involved in setting up the PVC systems. It for be transparent. 
all the stakeholders, including the voters, including the political parties, including the ECSL, for know exactly what they go into the PVC system. They for know the metals, they for know which polling stations they get for, they get for um, interview, they for know how the sample size come about, they for know how they do the sample selection. So okay. looking at the I, point that we did is, okay, continue. I'm not done yet. Okay, continue. Yes, I'm not done yet. The second point is, if we be statistically very, very standard, if we use very tight parameters, and the methods for be clear. What do you mean by tight parameter? Statistics get assumptions. When you they do the calculation, they get for assume this, they get for assume this. The most important for PVT systems are first, how homogeneous the population they. What you mean by homogeneous is or, or heterogeneous is how people in the what are the voting patterns of Sierra Leone. If you take Freetown, for instance, it's normally 60-40. If you go Bo, it's prob probably a 90-10 in favor of SLPP. If you go Kono, it's different. If you go Falaba, it's different. So Sierra Leone is a very, very heterogeneous country. So you know, you, you, you get for take that into consideration where you drop, draw up your sample size, as well as selecting the polls that we get, uh, the polling stations that we get for interview. It will also be very, very, forget the highest levels of transparency. So those are the three keys, key points where PVT systems forget. Um, the standards will be high, the statistical parameters will be tight, and it will be very, very transparent. So looking at the issue that we did come out with, so we very key and important for the necessary body they know about them. Another view would say, why at this time already election has been concluded, people they move on with their normal life. Why coming out now with them point here where people for don't consider before? Very, very good, uh, important question. Very good question as well. Because at this point, it is at this point where the PVT result don't come in. It is at this point where the international community they, they show apprehensions towards the election. They, they look at doubts. Um, they, they look at the credibility, that they question the credibility of the elections based on the PVT results we come out. So we need to tell Fambudan how this PVT results actually the influence or actually come about. Okay? So it's very important for talk about now because it's at this point that it don't even come into being. PVT uh, exercise will, will be happened in 2007, 2012, 2018. It will be easy. But this one don't be easy. So, so, so why do you think this is an issue this time around? So many reasons. One, this time around they show the PVT result as if na ele uh, elections result, which is not supposed to be. Two, it's not transparent like how we don't say. Not so many people know if it, know what go into the, the thing. Three, the data not out there. Nobody know no what thing happen. And we need for no. So many concerns, the, I mean, from the June 24 election from civil society, international observers. So then point here with the reason from the civil society point or from the state and rightful authority we not me point, exactly. My point is where are the reason from, from a statistically technical point. No, the I'm, fault we they talk about now from which angle or from which institution them? Would I the get fault we they talk about for, say, the area of the PVT, the things away for So I know they have for fault anybody. If the fault can go around everywhere. I'm not there for fault anybody. What they are trying for, for do here is explain how this uh, new will put out these numbers, how they arrive at these numbers, and what are some of the doubts that we may get in these numbers where they arrive at. So this is Those all about the new that you report with them bring out, yes. telling the figures, I mean, of the voting and percentage. Yes. And why focus on that? Because that's not in don't create the doubt, especially among the international community, say, they get apprehensions about the credibility of the, uh, of the election results. So the issue again, I mean, people get so many concerns about ECSL, we're not the rightful institution get the mandate when it comes from all election and um, results. Is it that in your knowing or things that we get understanding on, ECSL in any way not do anything we think say flout electoral process? EC e ECSL, we they call on them, just like how they talk about new, we they call on them, they say let them come out and defend some of the things that we people that they accuse them of. We they call on them for letting them release the young polling level data as well. If anything wrong, na ECSL, ECSL na, na the entity where they are then conduct, then get the right for conduct the elections, then announce the elections, then go able to come talk about themselves. And when you look at the election, the observers raise two main concerns them. One get for do with the arrival of logistics at the election uh, polling centers them. And the one we one final one get for do with the tabulation system or the tally system. You, as an expert, don't follow the election. What's in your view or take on the issue of tabulation or tallying of the final result? So the arrival, it can only be a problem 
if people that were supposed for votes end up not for votes. If, if the materials they arrive late, let us say they arrive at 3, 3 p.m., but then everybody will want vote at that police station, be able to vote, then that is not really an issue. You know, it, you know, impact the outcome of the result. The tally system, I don't hear about uh, the intransparency in the tally system. I don't hear about those things. If though, now it make myself the join civil society for layer ECSL, show we the uh, the poly level data. However, really what I want to talk about is how new arrive at the at the result with a fifty one percent. The president forget, and therefore the president is not supposed to win on first rounds. Now then result in the hour we'll talk about how they arrive at those numbers. So I mean waiting in terms of arriving or try to talk about waiting new state, it will very important to listen and via they know when a young system and structure where you work with, whether you get for can say new right or wrong for bring out the your result and things that we didn't find out if flow to the electoral process. Absolutely, good question. Um one of the pioneers of PVT system at India, National Democratic Institute in the US, then get oh, very so much material on their website they publish a whole handbook on on how pvts for be conducted so most of which are they talk about now nah, recommendations from the ndi website as well as their handbook okay go ahead okay some of the recommendations then. okay so like i uh, be they say earlier i say i focus on the statistics um ndi say when you conduct this particular poll or this particular exercise you for use very tight statistics one you confident waiting for be your confidence level. Waiting at confidence level. Confidence level is how um let us say for instance, waiting you come up with, say fifty one percent ninety president forget or fifty percent ninety president forget. Confidence level they tell you say no matter how many times you counter, for instance, if they say ten percent and ninety percent confidence level, that they tell you say if you counter ninety percent, it will be fifty one percent. But there is ten percent we will be out of work. Waiting you waiting NDI they suggest. The confidence level for be as high as 99 percent minimum okay if for be 99 percent that means if 99 people they can uh, 100 people they can counter 99 people for arrive at the same result at the same result one okay that now one two we get what you then call um, uh, the standard error or the margin of error however you call it the margin of error then the variability uh, uh, around the result new them report to them pool then get a margin of error of about 2.7 percent NDI suggests the the recommended design margin of error for be less than 0.1 percent. Okay, NDI uh, uh, new use very very high margin of error. And why is this too important? Because if you want your confidence level to be high, the sample size get for be really big. If you want your margin of error for uh, for be that's low, your sample size get for be really big. So that that's how then two things here relate to what you new do. New use only 750 uh, uh, polling stations. Okay, where I use, Mr. Sebgo, and calculate this thing. And I get an, and if you want, I go give you. Where I use uh, the same parameters where NDI don't recommend. The minimum number of um, polling stations where new for don't use is about 3,700. But I know say resource uh, availability can can affect that. Resource is not there. So NDI also suggests you can relax down the probability to about 0.2 percent. If I drop that to 0.2 percent, the minimum number of uh, police stations where they for don't use now slightly above 1,200. Ghana use 1,500. Chile use 1,400. Cambodia use 1,400. There is nowhere in the world where they don't use less than 1,000. So I go look for no. I'm not saying what you do wrong. But I go look for know how and why new use only 750. We, we can't discuss more of that inside the program in him now. Uh, Professor Adam Stevens, University of Maryland, the program uh, Good Morning Saloon, they come to you from the Society for Radio Democracy. A senior management team member of NEW. So we, this man, they talk about inclusivity. You even have some members of the election body, the election monitoring body that were not included. You know why are we there in this? We are not, let me finish. We're not there for discredit anybody. If there are dark clouds on with democracy as a country, we are in a problem. And when you look at what's in the happen, you, you don't get an election where you don't get, we don't just elect 30% of the, the elected parliamentarians are women. For the first time, we they get the biggest civil uh, women's caucus where they go na, 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 na the parliament. And the whole Africa, in fact, most part of the world, they don't credit Sierra Leone for the aspirations who they make. 
So if there is something when I storm in the teacup, I think it's just but proper for law discussion. Me to me, uh, judging by what uh, Professor Adams would just say, we're ready for take the National Electoral Commission on. All of them in a way the electoral uh, observers, the international observers, then say, like for in the complaints that we APC been get, we're ready for take them on. One of the things where they help we, now where we lead agency where they observe the election, we not new. Like then condition where Mr. Uh, Professor Adams, they talk about like openness, like uh, uh, the accuracy of the sample size. If then, let them just, we all get limitations. If they share that sampling there with we, we study them. As civil society, in fact, one part of the thing that we talk, we can actually take next to court. But new get for help with, and they don't want to slow the process. You know, let me just read something. This is not the manual this way, new for follow. And Professor Adams, they just talk about the, the criteria. You get three key criteria where local observer missions for follow. The first thing, now access to data. So the question is, did NEC give them access to data? At the polling station level, yes, they did. Uh, the, the next question is, did they input the correct data in the uh, in their system? Now, only at this time now, because where you do, where you do the PVT, you know for share the polling station. Because if you share the polling station, there will be sensitivity around there. But after the election, if you share the polling station, and we're able to match now with NEC the results, and we're able to know who side the problem there. is the problem with NEC? Is it about we own we own data system? So then, then are the first one, access to data and the accuracy of the data. The second key thing, now credibility of audiences, credibility with audiences. You know why this is important? Sierra Leone so polarized. The moment Lavali talk, you, right now if you go on social media, you can see some money that they cost. That they cost. The moment La Marcella talk, you'll get some people they talk, say me, I don't believe this, I don't believe that. Waiting always you know, important. Now, we they bring all of them stakeholders they together in a room. They actually defend the democracy. In 2018, the TOB make the PVT so good, where we pull the PVT, uh, nobody not being opposed them, is because of the credibility with the stakeholders. There was quite a good relationship between the system and Infa Ali. In fact, before this, I asked the Electoral Commission, have you have access to the PVT sampling or, or the methodology? They say no. So as a matter of fact, in fact, the NDI, they call them quick count. You know what quick count means? You know, say, technically for run election, you know, easy. It's a logistical nightmare. So that quick country PVT they do, it actually give the Electoral Commission. Say, I know say you get a lot for do, but at the end of the day, let me finish. Um, at the end of the day, this is not, not the picture where they come out. Then they, they actually uh, compare notes. And the most important thing, we, a kind of democracy where they mature, within that kind of system they do, it actually build confidence in, uh, with, with the public. Because if, if you build confidence with the public, it, it go difficult for let somebody go deny the elections. Right? So now that make, uh, if you go like place like Ghana, where Ghana be they do them PVT, then do... Um, for the election, the organization where they do the PVT, they actually they make a skit, they put on a newspaper, share the sampling. If then thing and they're not known to the public, then you can't publish something. Now, so now in the lead to then controversy. And all day, if you go look, I mean, I think say just look at page so, 13 of the manual. So you said make mention of the 2018, a new being predicted in 2018. See, now we've all the been doing the election. Now the election, Gaffer go runoff, mm. and it went on runoff. And again, new predict them again this time around. But now there is an issue or concerns about these predictions. Who said the missing link, the 2018 th and 2020? I think that inclusivity. All the whole institutions to stand up. Because look, right now, we all want their neck published polling station results. Let there be openness. On we part as civil society, we say for we for do likewise. Sometimes in day, if I want to publish a very sensitive data, you know what I can do? I they call APC and SLPP in my room, in in our offices. So Sunday day would take half a day workshop. We just go through the process. In fact, the 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 manual I recommend say. Who side there is polarization and people will not trust both? You really get for bring political parties in the room. Say when I can't observe the process. If that thing not happen, you go see, say, wait, if you pull them, one group they argue, say, 
this is not correct. There are another group that argues that this is correct. Are IG and a member of New? No, we are not. We're but not in, the la in the last standing together, it was not just New. You had 50 50 group, you had IGR, you had Westminster, you had Search for Common Ground. It was a standing together for democracy consortium. And let me tell you what you don't know. Before this election, we actually try to activate the standing together. We actually form a WhatsApp group. We tell people and say, we all the, the fund, fund, receive funding from different donor agencies. But in the interest of Sierra Leone, I, I say thanks to Fatu, Fatu uh, Taki, let us coordinate, let us collaborate. We did not. We, we, some people, you know, they just refuse to coordinate and collaborate. So now we have a situation where say, we get this kind of situation where say, um, part of with data, this person believes and this person is not believer. So I believe say that's a lesson we need for land from, from, from 2018 and 2023. Okay. Moving forward, we need to get processes, we're inclusive. How, for goodness sake, you know, we can pull some of the polls in. We don't pull opinion polls in somebody, mm, no, no, Lavalin, that's not SLPP. If I want to put a system together for check the election, I, we get to make sure see all shades of opinions, including who that they don't believe me. They part of the room. That opinion, if you say in SLPP, not true or not? <laughs> you know, it's absolutely false. <laughs> okay, continue for the with me, Anuela Valley. I'm mm. um, executive director of Institute of Governance Reform and also member of the um, over 80 civil society. We put a press release aside and state eight point um, really and consider as a challenge in the post election. Um, now, at this time, we'll be bringing Professor Adams Stevens from University of Maryland and also an expert on data. Um, system you they make some of the things them way for make up a quality pvt data um system you don't state some of the things that way you consider say no go right in a particular civil society we bring out um a whole information as in given figures of the just concluded um election in all of this within your objective as in waiting professor adam stevens really want for achieve doing this bringing out now this information at this time looking at the facts see the country in election numbers Good question. Thank you very much for asking that question. Just before I go answer that question directly, the other point I want to make about uh, the data collection system, where I feel say um, the key cause for doubt the result. Let's just talk about that. And then the selection of the sample themselves. So I don't talk about the sample size, why I concern with the sample size. Now I talk about why I concern with how they go down select the sample. We know we don't really know how they select the 750 polling stations. Where they say we? Who they refer to? Everybody. Okay. Besides uh, new, for instance, they get 750 with the uh, with them pool. If you take out of that 750, if you take 300 naya, 300 na bombali, and the rest you take on a kenema. Doctor Samura wins on the first round with over 70 percent of the vote. Similarly, if you go Kailan, you take you take to 200 na Kailan, 200 na kenema, 200 na bo, and take the rest na the not, Madagio wins by over 80 percent. So it's very important for no, for let we know how they come about for select this uh, this po uh, polling stations there. Uh, so then then I will wait till I don't let answer in question. Then I, then, then the addition that way I will make. Your question is why are they come out now? This is very good. Why are they come out now? I appeal to Sierra Unions as well as the international community for let look beyond these numbers. This 51 percent we didn't say now you supposed to forget, or this 47 percent where they make people some, some people they question the credibility of the election. Let us look behind these numbers. What do you make up these numbers? The data we go into these numbers they accurate. Let us look at those. Let us ask those questions. Do we then collect the, uh, the, uh, this data? Yeah? Then get any political biases? Would I conduct the entire uh, the entire PVT? I get prior motivations. Now, putting we get uh, political le uh, leaning, but let me ask these questions. So, I tell, I, I appeal to the international community. Don't not just run away with these numbers, but let actually sit and look at these numbers and look beyond these numbers and see where to come up with these numbers. For instance, um, there is a diabolic uh, video going around where a presidential candidate actually the bluff say they both say now he help one of the observers for race fund and these observers some of the apprehensions they imply say then they support this particular presidential this is very bad this is this is not, not something where we're not supposed to encourage no. so i go look for uh, we all look beyond these numbers and try to address some of these things now um asking plenty questions about the neutrality 
of new or the staff them or the workforce of new in the election and also looking at the process we then use for to arrive at the conclusion. Somebody where they listen to you now go argue, say, or go tell you, say, this is not the first time we knew don't they observe elections in our salon and don't know they come up with predictions over the past years. Why you think, say, this year you are different from this, that? Yeah, this, <laughs> this, this is an expert you are. Yeah, this question. 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 Yeah, we PVT systems or quick consistence forget. The last one we agree, I said the highest levels of transparency and inclusivity. I talk about that. Anywhere where it happened in Ghana, where it happened in Ivory Coast, where it happened in Cambodia, where it happened in Chile, everybody come together. In fact, in all this, they call they actually call the political parties, they come into a room and explain to the waiting gear about they, tell, they, they show them the methodology and then tell them, say, now this amount of polling stations will get for a poll. So that is the difference here. Here, you ask a PC person, they, they don't know what went in there. You ask a CPP person, they don't know what went in there. So we need to know why. Why the transparency, you know, why the secrecy, and if any of them biases actually creep into the results. As, as, as a data expert, you, in any way, where you get this from, you try for cross-check with them, doubts how we get with them. I don't get access to new, but I... I, I I, I, I do me young cross checks, and if you want, I, I will explain that as well. I do me young cross checks. Then one, one thing we I check is then predict say, the uh, the turnout rate nationally for be seventy seven percent. Okay, I take some polls and randomly some polls in Freetown, now than the north, then they are around 75, 70, 60, 70 percent turnout rate, which match within them predict. I take some polls in Kailahun, Kenema, Pujahun, then they are above ninety percent. So that means that they tell me, say, the campus selection be somehow mis underrepresent the, the, po the polling stations in the southeast and overrepresent the polling stations in uh, Freetown and the north. That's and that will result to biases. That, that are your findings? That I see. I see some tests, some, some tests where I do. Some basic tests. I just look at the results and what then they post post. That I want. Then, second, after the first round, uh, the 60% announcement where they announce, new come out and say, correct. Say this results correct. So I take a trend of that one day, um, I, I, I subtract the total registered, waiting left, I use new than 77% voter turnout rate, then I use that trend in that result and calculate. If I do that one day, the president gets about 51%. But if I go in there, where I go in there and change the voter turnout rate in Bo, in Kenema to the actual rate, 90%, 92%, the president gets 56.5%. So, so that they tell me, say, there is issue there with the, uh, the, uh, the sampling selection method. We probably we need to understand. As I'm not saying you get them wrong. I, 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 I just want to know how they do them. So my point how they is why the objection on all the things that we the point has so wrong would just focus on new and not I also the, I also the focus on ECSL. But you just been talking about new here. Yeah, because, because you don't ask me directly about ECSL. Well, we I, talk, I did talk about, about ECSL. I did talk about ECSL points. now. ECSL as well, they need to come out. They need to come out with the polling level data. That's we not, we, nobody not going to uh, compromise that. That has to happen. And they also need to come out because if you look at their numbers as well, some inconsistencies there across the numbers where anybody can ask question. And if they ask question, it, uh, it, uh, it incumbent on them themselves to come out and explain why these inconsistencies. For instance, then I look at the announcements. Okay, uh, that sixty. If you look across. The four sixty percent where they announce, um, each police station get like over uh, three hundred and fifty uh, people will vote. The second batch get about thirty eight people will vote. So, but overall they get two hundred sixty five people will vote now each police station. So overall very correct. But how they split and how they get them wrong in that splitting, they need to come out and explain okay. the inconsistencies to me. Um, yes, um, quick Go one. Colleague, yes, a quick one. Subti Kalon online now with the join Kolifa Kurma from the National Elections Watch um, in the PVT data coordinator. We get them on online for respond to some of the concerns them. We, we still guess them don't raise over the data we then put out for SICA, the June 24, 2023 election. Hello, good morning and welcome to the program. Good morning, Salon. Good morning, Michael Sambula, and good morning to listeners out there. Yes. Um, welcome to Red Democracy. Good morning, Salon. 
and uh, we get a studio guest them and uh, from where we now put out our data different concerns don't come up from different quarters them and we get two studio guests them um this morning and uh, especially we get professor adam steven from university of maryland we don't they ask plenty questions about the system and how we arrive at the conclusion for um when our pvt data we wanna put out to the public for listeners them we they listen to you and view on the good morning salon facebook page I want to arrive at the conclusion and I want to put this PVT data together for SICA, the June 24, 2023 election. Thank you very much for the, um, for the question. Um, first of all, I want to tell listeners, they say, this PRVT, who is called process and result of verification for transparency, now three way we don't do that alone. This is the fourth time we don't do that alone. We do them in 20, um, 2007, we do them in 2012, we do them in 2018, and we do them in 2023. So, um, I will just talk about a couple of things, right? I see uh, uh, Professor Adams, where he did talk, he did, he did reference NDI, the National Democratic Institute, so many times. You know, I know, I know the paper we read under the PRVT. I know it, it, it's available online. Anybody could go online and look at NDI, the methodology already they use for, for um, the PRVT. Interestingly, the step in the effort, like NDI will give technical assistance to do the PRVT this year in a salon. I had a technical assistant very close to me where I've been work with. In fact, even before I fly for the, from the United States, going to salon, who will conduct the PRVT. I go, I go to Washington, D.C., you know, even with my expertise doing PVP from 2007, even with my expertise in that, I go to NDI office at Washington, D.C., we go through the, the PRVT, we go to Apollo, when the system will be used for the PRVT, okay? I get it, I get an interesting thing from NDI, okay? So all in NDI reference, I just want to let people listen and know, say, National Democratic Institute, that we with technical experts in, we will work closely for to this PBT in a salon. Having said that, I also want to go to talk so, uh, some of the things the way I already say. I know, I know, I know everything, but just a few stuff that we talk, make I just talk about the one and then, then I will come to the methodology and how we arrive at finding them. The, I already in the talk about, say, no sign order in the world within the use um, 750 sample points, not PRVT. That is absolutely false. It's absolutely false. First of all, a random, with the sample we use, that's 750 out of 11,832 polling stations that's alone. Okay? And these sample points were generated statistically and they're representative of every trade that happened at alone. They were proportionally distributed across our territory. Now, let's just debunk what the professor talking about. Okay? In, um, in Cote d'Ivoire, in 2020, they did a PVT, a PVT PRBT, right? And the sample point was 750 points for 24,000 polling stations. 24,000 polling stations. The sample point was 750. We did two sample points of 750 for 11,832 police stations. That are one thing at the debunk. Number two, another country in Kenya, they did seven in Kenya, they did 700. Um, no, no, in Kenya in 20, 2022, they did 1,000 sample points for 46,000 police stations. In the year 2022, Kenya, at the Jupiter, 1,000 polling points for 46,000 polling stations. In Nigeria, 2023, they did 1,500 sample points for 180,000 polling stations. So the way the professor talked down, it was erroneous, it was misleading, and it's disingenuous. So, uh, Professor Steve's in assumption now that 
a more likely that una take more sample size na the north than the southeast. For somebody where they listen to you, we say una draw una sample size from. Okay, la, la, make a go and make a make a tell um, listeners. Okay, so before I tell you how we sample point distributed across the country, first of all, I just repeat and say it's a statistically representative uh, sample we do. Now, random sample now we do. Not to wish to dumb and select the police station them them beside them for go now the country. Not to also we do. We sit down on a computer. I was part of the process. NDI was in the middle of the process. Then I was technical experts. We sit down. We put, we put all the police stations in the country. We put a formula, a computer. And we do a random sample. The computer, na in pick, na in pick uh, police stations. When the computer pick police stations across the country, the computer makes sure say the formula will put to make sure say it represents all um, regions of the country. It represents all districts of the country. It represents all villages, all wards of the country, and it, it take into consideration, to consideration, the homogeneity. Of the, of the voting population, it takes into consideration the heterogeneity of the voting population. What will the time for talk about? Now, the extent to which people the, 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 the vote, how the voting patterns of people in the country, it takes into consideration, Danny. Because we know, say, in Sierra Leone, there are strongholds in different parts of the country. There are strongholds. There are parts where APC, there are strongholds. A strong word for APC, the apartment a strong word for SLPP, and so on. And with that point, also take into consideration population density across the country. So at the kind do now the distribution, when the formula, when the computer really draw up the data, when it draws the samples, and it tell you how we distribute them. And you will know the distribution of the sample points now by the population density. You take that into consider largely. So, for example, Western Urban, when the, when the, the computer did the distribution, it gave Western Old Urban 130 sample points. Western Urban. Because Western Urban is very populated. Western Rural gets 74 sample points. Bujong gets 26 sample points. Moyamba gets 34 sample points. Bond, Bond. Island and mainland, in districts of Port, get um, 25 sample points. Oh, get 70 sample points. But Loco, get 53 sample points. Tarine, get 23 sample points. Tambia, get 35 sample points. Tonkolilu, get 46 sample points. Poinandugu, get 19 sample points. Falaba, get 16 sample points. Bombali, Get 46 sample points. Polo, get 39 sample points. Kenima, get 71 sample points. Kailang, get 43 sample points. When you put all that day together, it gives 750 sample points. So now, so with distribution begin now, across the country. Now, you talk about according to population distribution, is it the sample size? Um, informed by the census results or the registered voters by region? Thank you very much. The population, the two way we do it, is represented by, by, the, by, the, by the registered voters. Registered voters, not, not census uh, figures. Now, registered voters. So, when we need to, we open the time for generated sample. We look at all the police stations, what are the police centers will be get? Then we look at how much police stations then are every centers. But now they, then we put it together. Now they will draw them from. And then we look at registered voters also. Now I'll tell you one thing, uh, 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 98.1, and the listeners all the world over. When we, when we come up to sample points, then, we find out uh, the, 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 the police stations in our district was 11,106 1, polling stations now then they have the both districts okay we, we present a total of polling stations now both this was 9.3 percent okay we put 70 percent we average sample polling stations 
it's 9.3. So they look at the, the total police stations and we sample points. Now the same. This is how we verify we sample. What don't go with sample? This is how we verify we sample. When you look at the difference, now, now, the now you, don't, you don't talk about the sample size and who say I want to draw uh, the sample from and I want to arrive at the conclusion for put 750 mm -hmm. uh, sample size out. Mm -hmm. The questions now way or the concern from Professor Steven or Andrew Lavalli now the issue of inclusivity and also the, the, the availability of this uh, data to the public for scrutiny. How somebody where they listen to you now or view on Facebook we will get access to this data. Fine, thank you very much. In fact, I don't even know why people in the cities, I don't know why. Um, we, 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 we listen at, um, so my studio guests and the cities because we don't hide nothing. We methodology, it day out the, even before the elections, new call the press conference. So let we talk about we methodology. We overall observation strategy. Now, the freeze hotel, we hold the full up, the big freeze hotel hall. It be full up. We call a um, press, uh, uh, I call them the press. We call um, civil society organizations. In fact, that we that we observation strategy day. Now, each year, one of the commissioners of each year, in fact, now the chief electoral commissioner, now we call for make it go launch with observation strategy. I recall, but it was engaged in other activities. So it's then the commissioner of the South, I believe it was, so let it go launch with observation strategy. The woman this Sunday, listen to the entire observation strategy what we talk about and we go in depth about the prvt methodology we go in depth about them we explain them and we distribute with the observation strategy to everybody we, we make copies of them and distribute them to all the guests at the world okay uh, thank you very much for joining me inside the program you've been listening to qualify kurma in uh, the National Elections Watch, new PVT data coordinator, and we talk to uh, Radio Democracy. Good morning, Salon, and they answer some of the questions them and the concerns them with Professor Adam Steven from the University of Maryland and also Andrew Lavalli don't raise inside the program. Good morning, um, Salon, for SECA, the data we then put out for the June 24, 2023 elections and a uh, quick one and will have a goal they become a colleague in the country before we join um qualify kuma online and they come to adam stevens uh our show and opsi plenty of questions them qualify don't answers to them and instead when they follow the program yeah i mean i, I want to make you know say um the questions we are they ask is i know then go don't refer to ndi then go don't ask ndi for technical assistance that is not what I'm questioning. What is the question is the parameters we go into the decision why they for use uh, 750. For instance, if they talk about, say, in Konona, na, na 39, polling stations they use, in Kenema, na 71. Poly, these polling stations, they, they should be affected more by the heterogeneity than the, the population, than the number of voters in there. I will tell you why. For instance, in Makeni, we know, say, 90% of them, they vote one way, okay? Ten, just 10 polling stations. Go ahead, we'll capture the entire sentiment about McKinney. Whereas in Kono, we know say a swing state. If they go this way, if they go that way. So taking just 39 and Kono and 71 and Kenema way much more hom homogeneous, it really not, it not tell me the entire story. So my question is, where are the axis? Let them show me the parameters. I know, I know the question, what they say exactly, but like, judging from just these two things, what you call, there are certain things, there are some things wrong. So let them show me the parameters, how they arrive at this. So, Ali, I ask you if you in any way don't engage them before um, you take on the media because mm -hmm. new day in a salon, the mm -hmm. office in a salon, we get them concerned yeah, for don't engage with them and ask some of the questions there so and arrive at the conclusion for your analysis. Yeah. No, I don't ever engage them. I, Why? I don't get a way for, uh, for, for engaging them. For, uh, I only they talk about this because the result come on, was it on the 28th okay. after elections? And at that time, I know, say, 
there are problems here. We're not going to just fly with this. Uh, international community is not for just supposed to fly with these numbers. Let's look behind these numbers. Okay, okay. Professor Adam Stevens, continue yeah. for the week. Over to you. Sapti. And if you didn't know, so you get something for say concerning to what you call it for saying. Sapti, quick one before Andrew Lavali can say, producer, don't signal to me because we don't go beyond time. Don't give 15 minutes. Now it's nine after. Andrew Lavali, point quick thank, one. Thank you very much. So, Sapti me, Mickey just want, I know so we'll not get better time again. Mm -hmm. I can just want for end for empower citizens. You know, something, something, and they not finally it be seen as so Andrew Lavalley say, mm -hmm. you self get for be empowered for ask the right question. I glad you will qualify in Professor Stephen. They actually converge on one point mm -hmm. for say the NDI now nah been the technical pool down there. Mm -hmm. we, we, we actually guide the new process. And you know, NDI talk about three things then, where you call about the prerequisite. Mm -hmm. And I could just want to read one side where I want to end with. We have not discussed the access to the data, the issue of credibility. You know what I If I think say, the, the biggest problem with the entire now the openness and the, 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 the inclusivity of the group of members we, 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 we do the process. You know, we, people can get perception about we all, from President Bill to the least speaking as alone, people can get perception about we all. So NDI very clear, he say. It says two main components of credibility and competence and independence. There are two main components. To promote the image of competence, group themselves have to behave in a transparent manner. Therefore, advertisers, for publicizers, see, Colifa don't talk about them. They should publicize their plans, their methods, which should be sensible and feasible. Like me now, I just wish, like, actually, like on newspaper, you actually see them. But we don't pass that stage. It says the key audiences must also see quick count sponsors as independent. If you don't know where the, where the fund we, if I get a donor where the fund IGR or where the fund new, if APC SLPP then get issue about them, then that one day. So in fact, the end of for say, um, if we're not able to meet all of them here, you actually need, just go page nine of the quick book. And, just if you go page nine, you talk say you need for even bring political parties not the room. So at the end of the day, like me, Andrew Lavalli, I'm not gonna run with something. I go always say, look you representative APC, look you representative SLPP. For a society we're so polarized. So what he help in 2018, I don't know why we really veer away from him. In 2018, we we publicized the PVT without any question because this all of we been there at the room. So like me now, so as as me, I, I consider myself as an election stakeholder. Okay. If 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 you publish publicize them, I talk I not really know certain things then, then I think say there must be some we know you talk say then do bad. I think say the last level waiting really required now, now actually the data. So if they're able to share that data, I think now, so. now you, you, you don't they talk about inclusivity now the new then process and if you get from Colifasi. Before the election, they engage different stakeholders than even the electoral commissioner. Um, the National Electro Electoral Commission, where the commissioner not be able to attend, but he sent representative day, and also different stakeholders them. Now you talk about inclusivity into the process. Of Musa, the are the challenge you say, process. are the challenge you say, even you, you only know about this sample today. You, where they ask me this question. So, so the so, question. So, no, no, no. <laughs> so, 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 no, talk no. about inclusivity. No, so, and wait, wait, qualify, wait. Qualify, make mention of that inclusivity and how they open up no, the space no, wait, before the election. No, you get, there is, you know, what we do in civil society work, you get what you call, uh, you know, they invite somebody for participate and they also make people then share control over decision making. So, not where you call people play meeting and share what you get is different from when people then share control over decision making. In processes like this, stakeholders have to share control over decision making. That's what they call inclusivity. Not when you call them to a meeting, say, this is what you have. Okay. So, 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 I think, say, like in 2018, we did quite a lot of that because search for common ground, Naina be the consortium lead. We've we'll all been there on the um, new uh, IGR 50 50. We'll be the jointly take decisions together. I think, say, moving forward, we're not for sure of that the off. We actually need all the donor that we didn't get, we didn't fund with. Therefore, no say Sierra Leone is so polarized. Election decision making has to be inclusive, not just take Andrew Lavalli, me award, 
or you take Marcel Assam as you say in your work. Okay, Anna. you get for make sure say we all are on board for jointly take decisions on behalf of the country. In line with the way forward, waiting, I mean, the over IT civil society plan for the next, especially when I don't make eight points, I want to consider as a challenge and post election. Anyway, for giving present them point here to the rightful institution, them. Yes, we are doing that, and are some of the things that they would share. I am believe, say, Sierra Leone, we now a country we don't go through boku boku difficulties, including the war. We they go over this one as well. I may they encourage my colleagues and Khalifa, Marcella, let's come back, come back. Law can rebuild the country. So, of then here, we can discuss them and done with them. Law will learn lessons from this. The international community, government, NEC, even political parties, they have a forum within the meet, within the election steering committee. I think so it's about time we actually sit down now. We reflect on what happened in 2023. Because may feel say with democratic standards necessarily is still very high. Okay. Is it about waiting waiting wrong with the election? So how we waiting what's how we go wrong as a country? So instead of um we tempers flare, because most of anything and the will become emotional about them. We can actually go wrong instead of we actually consolidate the peace and democracy. Plenty thank you to you and Wola Valina in name, Executive Director, Institute of Governance Reform, and also a car represent uh, over 80 civil society organizations. Them outside them pull a press release where they state eight points them where they consider as a challenge on post election. Over to you quickly, Professor Adam Stevens. Um, you did talk about um, data and all of this within next country or different state institution for consider. I mean, in years to come on the next election, when a good and standard practice. So this, this, the three points where I highlight earlier, those are the three points we all for follow. Let, let them get hold on to very high standards. Let them make clear the statistical methods within they use. Let everybody know seeing that this thing they do. Let them tell we say then, uh, how they arrive at the number of polling stations or their sample size and how it get for be distributed. They don't need for disclose which particular po uh, polling station they get for go to because that will create problems. But let them tell you how they do And when they don't know, let them make the data available, as well as like ECSL making data available. So we'll be able to compare the two and, sh and see if there is any discrepancy, we'll say the discrepancy come out. Okay, we're well, to thank you to you, Professor Adam Stevens um, from University of Maryland and also expert on data system. We can give your view um, on the data system where they use the election and also we'll be get Anul Valley from IGR and also a represent um, civil society of over 80 organizations outside them pull a press release where they highlight um, points them where they believe say na um, post election challenge. Plenty thank you to the two gentlemen they wanna be with guests inside the program. Good morning, Salon, this Monday morning.